So you know I've been uh, doing some research for my CNI class about language acquisition. Like like by Gusky and all Yeah, that? the theories from that guys, yeah. yeah. So I kind of took some notes and wrote some lyrics down and I was just wondering maybe you got some music I can put to? Thought about it. I'm in. Jack. We communicate through cries and green crack. As we get older, we start to speak. Words start to come out. This is Goo Goo Gaga sweet. Goo Goo Gaga sweet. As time rolls on, a structure is formed. Talking in complete senses becomes the norm. How did this happen and how do I know? Well, here's some theories, so come on, let's go. From our adventure. Yeah. Does language depend? All on nurture, having parents hovering over us, just like vultures. B.F. Skinner, believe it did, saying parents' response to sound helps the game. Love it, be it. Random babbling such as dad and mama with parents' reinforcement helps grows on you. Then you start associating all these things, and ladies and gentlemen, we're structuring. Way to go, B.F. Love structuring, I love ya. Statues. But then there's others who think it different. They say it's biological, it's already in ya. My main man Chomsky's one of these guys. He thought about it for a while, then hypothesized. Means he had a thought. Well, I love well, hypothesize. He came up saying we're born with a lad. A language acquisition device built right in our heads. Once the lad is activated, some from there. Developing more complex structures that we can share with others. Love sharing with others is such a good thing to do. It is. Chomsky believes environment has no effect, that our language structure is inherited. The environment only decides what language you speak, so if you're born in China, Chinese it will be. They got good food there. Love their food, I love that orange chicken. And orange chicken. Prajay had a view, claiming middle ground, saying both nature and nurture helped this language go down. Thought is the key component of this, basically saying what you think is what you spit. Not a direct result of native characteristic, it's ability of your mind going ballistic, maturing over time and taking it all in, gathering information, then processing. Like computers or evil robots. Hey, them evil robots taking over. Old boy Vygotsky still stuck in his way, claiming social interaction all flippin' day. Communicative speech developed before verbal thought, they have independent origins, is the way he taught. To others, too. Origins. Better than origins. Babbling is essential for growth, but cognitive development, that's a no. Social interaction develops our minds through this way language helps get defined. Like words in a dictionary. My boy Webster dictionary. These are theories of men and their thought that correlate within how we talk. They may be right or they may be wrong, but they all came together in my song. I'm like Gandhi. You look like Gandhi. I do. Thing before I go, it's the critical period for language growth. People seem to think there's a certain time that if language isn't learned, it won't make sense in your mind. Like the damn goslings. Hey, them goslings, they know they are, man. Well, he had a belief that there's a critical period in your infancy. Where neurological factors develop and achieve, allowing learning for a child to speak. Try saying that three times fast. Not gonna try saying that. Not at all. The critical period hypothesis predicts that social deprivation will prevent language development. And in that time, it's a must own. Because if we don't, well, we'll all act stone. Kids, there is a time. We may be two, but we're still getting primed. And in our minds, we find the best way to connect. And language, well, that's the way we do it best. 